finance minister Mtuli Kube has come under fire for promising to provide Wi-Fi service for all cadre park houses in Blueyo, where he is campaigning for a parliamentary seat in this year's elections. Residents say that the area needs electricity, a good road network, adequate water supplies, and a proper sewer system, more than provision of Wi-Fi service. Some of the residents do use blade trailers. In a social media campaign message which has gone viral, Zube promised to install Wi-Fi in the constituency to enable communication. I have identified 10 points where I will install Wi-Fi, Zube said in one of his campaign trials. He also promised to drill boreholes in the constituency once elected as MP. Reacting to his campaign, Bulawayo residents said that Kube had failed as Minister of Finance and would not fool them with false Mtuli promises. I hope Nelson Chamisa, Citizens Coalition for Change leader, will ensure there is a strong candidate there to counter this nonsense and beat him emphatically, a resident told Newsday. Political commenter Dumisani Nkomo said it's highly unlikely for Kube to fulfill that given his failure to implement at macro level. Rights activist Efi Kube said he must find out what are the ordinary man and woman's priorities first. Unless it is a political gimmick, Everybody knows that before the internet, people want food on the table, clean water, safe sanitation, well-paying jobs and electricity. These are the top most priorities for many communities in Zimbabwe. This does not mean connectivity is unimportant, but that first things should come first. If the government cannot guarantee basic services, then it is far-fetched that it can deliver on access to the internet. Bulawayo Progressive Residents Association Chairperson Ambrose Sibindi said, Kube's campaign is just cheap politicking because there are more serious issues that people want dealt with. Kaudre Park residents want infrastructure. There are no schools, there is no electricity, there is no water, and the roads are in a horrible state. The expectation is that Kube should be dealing with these and surely for him to be talking about Wi-Fi will result in residents not taking him seriously. CCC Bulawayo spokesperson Sweden Chiro Wadza said a genuine politician should talk about the regulation of airtime and data by the Postal and Telecommunications Regulatory Authority Zimbabwe, which has forced cellular network providers to hike the cost of data. Caudry Park residents have no water and electricity. The bushes at a neighborhood farm require a visit by the Zimbabwe Parks and Wildlife Management Authority to reduce the number of dangerous snakes there, which continuously show up in people's houses. Kube must be serious, Chiro Woza said.